The morning of day three was not the warmest, so Jacko and I headed down to Four Kings Cafe to grab some coffees to heat us up. Four Kings is a lovely coffee shop that even has a space dedicated for some art that local community contributes, which creates a great vibe. It was here that we'd be meeting a local legend named Andrew, who'd be taking us out for a surf today. Let's just say that neither Jack or I were avid surfers. So this was going to be interesting. Yeah, All right, guys. Around here. Oh, okay, oh there you go. beautiful. That's yours, mate. And that one's yours, mate. Thanks, Thank you so much. No worries, Appreciate it. Cheers. 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 Neither is. How long have you been in Anglesey, mate? Well, I've been here living here full time since 94. Yeah, my wife and I, we built a house. So, um, Love it. Very, very lucky, you know, fair bit of change going on, but it's a beautiful place to be. So I feel privileged to be here, actually. Yeah. Where's your favourite beach to surf? Well, we love Gubbo's, where we're going to head today, a bit later on. Um, definitely we'll head over there. Um, Point Road Night's a really nice spot as well. Good for longboarding. Very, very safe, very friendly. Small waves as well. So, um, Which one's the warmest? <laughs> where are we going? Gubbo. Gubbo's. <laughs> Absolutely. All right, uh, awesome. Yeah. So, other than surfing, mate, what do you lo normally love to do around wintertime in Anglesey? What are the things that... Well, there's some really nice bush walks, you know, walking on the beach as well. You know, low tide, it's low tide at the moment. There's some beautiful sort of beaches to explore and, you know, good rock pools, that sort of stuff. And good mountain bike tracks too. Anglesey's got some really good tracks. Yeah, we saw one when... Um... Near the, was it near the netball club? Yeah, just, mountain bike yeah, track there for guy mountain biking, unloading yeah. mountain bikes. Yeah. So. Oh no, that's. Would mind checking that out at some point? To be yeah, 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 do that. Absolutely. And then afterwards, I think we're going to be checking out a few surf shops. Or yeah, I think we'll go down and we'll see um, see Trent, Trent, the local surf shop. Have a look. There's a there's a bit of a museum sort of happening down there. So find a few boards out that are sort of local, which will be good. Ah, oh, cool. Yeah, awesome. but be nice too. I think we're we're going to catch up with Nikki. Catch up yeah. with her at Gubbo, so course, that'll be yeah. that'll be nice. You that'll, know? Be, that'll be a lot of fun. Get her in the water, and she can show us how it's done. Is this just about embarrassing us, or? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, know, mate. Don't worry. Okay. Oh right. no. Yeah, no, no, no. Don't worry. You'll be fine. You'll All be right. good. Yeah. Nikki and I are setting out to experience the town of Anglesey. We're checking out what the town has to offer, plus meeting some of the town's small business owners to hear their stories and how the situation of COVID has impacted them. Not only that, there have been a few surprising faces who have helped us out along the journey. This is the Great Anglesey Sleepover. Just next door to Four Kings is one of Australia's most established surf schools, Go Ride a Wave. We thought it'd be best to have lessons and some insight on surfing before we got out there with, well, one of the world's most elite surfers. Our instructor, Sam, would be getting us up to speed with the basics. Um, all right, guys, how are you feeling? So, uh, this morning, already checked the beach, headed down there this morning. Um, awesome weather out there. It's um, really light winds, which is perfect for the waves. All right, so um, what we're going to do now, though, since we're in our shop, we're going to get you sorted out with all our equipment. So, uh, first thing to chuck on is our wetsuit, right? long armed, long legs. Yeah, keep you guys nice and toasty, so we'll get into one of them. Um, and after you chuck that on, we're just gonna put on some booty shoes to keep your toes nice and warm, all right? So then, once you're all sorted from there, uh, all we've gotta do is just get our boards, a uh, bit of safety equipment, head down to the beach, all right? Where we're gonna meet um, uh, Nikki as well, who's gonna come out and surf with us as well. So that's gonna be uh, a really good test for you guys to show off to a professional surfer, but also it's gonna be really good to see a bit of the difference between someone who's been professionally surfing for 20 years and then someone who's their first time coming out surfing, all right? So, shouldn't um, be that noticeable. <laughs> <laughs> um, so if you guys are ready, uh, we'll go out the back, get you sorted. Yeah. When we get down there as well, we're going to be shown how to like sort of get on the board and... Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah. once we get down into the car park, um, we'll just grab the boards, get down to the beach. Um, I'll just go through a little bit about some safety. Mm -hmm. um, obviously, so you guys are safe out there today, but any other day you want to go down to the beach, it's really good to know what to look out for. And then I'll just show you a few things on how to stand up, um, kind of where you really want that feet on the board and then we'll just pretty much go out for about an hour and I'll teach you a lot um, out in the water. Okay, hopefully how to stay warm as well. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Luckily, by the time we got down to Gubbo's, the sun was starting to come out and warm up the day even more, which was great news for Mickey and I. 
We're also very excited to finally meet and chat with one of Australia's most elite surfers, Nikki Van Dyke, where she filled us in a little about her love for the Victorian coast. You know, I get asked this question so much of where my favourite places to surf is and my favourite places, you know, to spend time. And I always say Victoria, you know, um, there's nothing like home. And I think, you know, as a Victorian growing up, I've spent a lot of time on this coast. Um, and I think we're just so lucky to have such a beautiful coastline and, and a place to, you know, spend so much time in. I spent so much time in the water here and, um, yeah, it's great to be back. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you for being here. Yeah, thanks for having me. Look at this. It's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> now, just before jumping into the water, Andrew and Nikki briefed us a little more on what to expect before heading in. And they were definitely piling the pressure on a bit. This is magic. It's perfect for you guys. Yeah, I reckon, I reckon you guys are going to have a lot of fun out there. You might get a little bit cold, but I think, uh, you know, you're going to have a nice time. Oh, we're, we're prepared for the cold, I think. <laughs> well, maybe not, maybe not, though, at the same time. <laughs> I think it, no, I think you'll be pretty good. I think you'll be all right, pretty set. Well, I mean, it's not, I don't really have a trained eye, but yeah, as you said, those, the waves are pretty good. So. Yeah, no, this will, be, this will be good fun. You know, this is a perfect size for you guys. So I think you'll, uh, if, if we can get you to stand up, you know, have a few just standing up, cruising along, I think we'll be, I think we'll be pretty good. I'd be happy with that. Yeah, if you absolutely. guys get up today, I'll be very happy. And we might even try and if we could get maybe two on the one board at some stage. Tandem. Maybe. Okay. Go a tandem. We'll see what happens. <laughs> we'll do it. We'll do the Titanic. Do you know what you're agreeing to? <laughs> uh, yeah, I'll just know. No. <laughs> I've got no idea. Yeah, I think well. we should, uh, you know, crawl before we run. That's a good thing. No, no, this is perfect. This is this is probably typical for gubbos. You know, it doesn't sort of. So far as the wind goes, this is probably about as good as it gets, which is good. So, yeah, it's nice and clean. I think, uh, I think you guys will enjoy it. Nah, to be honest, it is, it's looking welcoming. Welcoming. Yeah. Yeah, it's yes. definitely, definitely looking inviting today for all of us. Yes. We're wanting to get into it. <laughs> well, the time had finally come. We all grabbed our boards and headed down to the water. Must say that it was a beautiful stroll down along Gubbo's. Jacko and I would head in first, while Andrew and Nikki decided to wait back to enjoy the show. It seemed I was having second thoughts on the whole idea, and this was probably why. Yeah, look, I wouldn't say that we got off to a great start, but after not too long, and some great advice from our instructor Sam, this happened. Nikki and Andrew wanted to join in on the front. Honestly, surfing at Govos was one of the funnest experiences we've had in a while and would definitely recommend it to anyone coming down to Anglesey. After the surf, we thanked Sam for his awesome help, got dried up and went down to meet Trent at the famous Anglesey Surf Shop. And I'll tell you what, after that experience, I was probably in the market for a board as well. The Anglesey Surf Shop is more than just a traditional surf shop and Trent was going to tell us more about that. I've been here for forever basically. Um, my, my father's shop, uh, so he started it 34 years ago. Um, originally opposite the main beach in Anglesey and then eventually moved up here in 1993. Um, so yeah, I've grown up in the surf shop, you know, right from yeah, a baby. Um, <laughs> so yeah, no, we've been around for a while. Um, we are different to most surf shops. We love our history of surfing as you'll see inside with all the boards on the roof and all that. Um, but we focus on second-hand surfboards. You know, something that most surf shops don't really do. All right, man, if it's all right, we'd yeah. love to have a look through. Hello. Yeah, Great, cheers. Oh, thanks a lot, man. The Anglesey Surf Shop was such a cool place. There was a very authentic vibe to the joint. You could feel the history of the shop with all the old school items on display. 
from the historic boards on offer to the converted jobs that have been done. This place is certainly somewhere you have a great experience, not only to gaze at some amazing boards, but also to see and spend time with great people who are enthusiastic about the sport that they love. Overall, Anglesey has done it yet again, from meeting a local legend who told us a bit about his love for the town, then getting to go right away with one of the world's most elite and fun surfers. And to top it off, getting to check out a cool vintage surf shop and even learn a thing or two about the history of surfboards. Wake Up in Anglesey is truly proven to be a fantastic thing. Let's see what the next day holds. Thank you so much. No worries. Is that um, what lighthouse is that? Is that Aries Inlet or the yeah. Round the Twist? Oh, it's Aries oh is that what that is? I think that's Round that the is. Twist. That is Round the Twist one, man. I'm, I'm yeah. certain it is because Cousin oh, Tony oh, filmed the album cover there that had Round the Twist. How good was that show? <laughs> yeah, was Bring back Round the Twist. I actually might have to watch that. Might put it on tonight. Put a, what a, show is it? Round the Twist. Round the Twist. You know, Brunson and. Oh, uh, I'll have to send it to you. Eat like this. No, that doesn't. Crazy. If that's not ringing a bell, then no. Uh, around the twist. Uh, How do you not know? How old are you? Uh, 25. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, prime. I'm 25 too. It was uh, our show. No, I'm, I didn't have a great child. <laughs> 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 well, oh. I was watching oh. horror films. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing to myself? Oh, shoot. <laughs> no, um. Well, I'll send it to you. You can watch yeah, please. it. please. No, yeah. It's never too late. <laughs> <laughs> you get hooked? Huh? You get hooked?